I'm Anil Kumar and this video is for my subscriber Michael. Michael thanks a lot for your excellent question and this is my second attempt to answer your question and I hope this time uh, I might get it right okay let me know. We are practicing polynomial division the question is x to the power of 5 minus y to the power of 5 divided by x minus y. You will see this kind of question in your test paper for sure. Now let us see how to do such a division. So let's write, we'll do long division this time, right? So we'll do long division. Okay, so the divisor is x minus y. Let me write it down here. And the dividend here is x to the power of 5 minus y to the power of 5. Clearly, there are a few terms missing, x to the power of 4, x cube, x square, and x. So we need to introduce them with placeholders, right? So let's start. So we'll have x to the power of 5 plus 0, x to the power of 4. I'm purposely leaving some space here, and we'll see why I left, and then we'll understand why we should use a variable here like y, okay? So we'll continue x cube in general this is perfectly fine right so decreasing powers of x are my placeholders for the time being right so that is it and 0 x is also missing okay so we put 0 x and then we have a variable y to the power of 5 okay so that is how it is and now let's start the division process so the first step of course is to take care of two terms and uh, we'll take two terms here we have x x to the power of 5 so we have to multiply by x to the power of 4 that goes in quotient when you multiply you get x to the power of 5 minus 0 there x to the power of 4 and y right so you get x to the power of 4 and y oh now we need to take away now how do we take away from x to the power of 4 this particular term? That is a big question. Now there is no easy way out unless we make them same like terms, correct? Like terms is this solution or rather uh, thinking, right? So we are thinking about like terms. I hope that helps. So this term should be a like term, right? Now, to make it a like term, I should introduce y here. Do you get the idea now, right? So, so we have to move forward, otherwise we get stuck, right? So, uh, even the zero placeholder doesn't work in such places. That's the trick, okay? So, we'll continue again and see what happens. So, when you take away, you get x to the power of 4y, and you bring down 0x cubed. And now, of course, we have to multiply by x cubed, okay? So when I multiply this, what do I get? I get, uh, no, I have to multiply by x cubed y because I also have y. Okay, let's multiply. So we get x to the power of 4 y, good, and minus y times y is y squared. So we get uh, hmm, x cubed y squared. Now again the question is, how do we take away x cube y square from x cube same concept we have to have a like term so here we should take uh, y square correct so let's go back to what we did and introduce y square and correct it okay now i think we can move forward correct so i'm repeating it so that it helps us to understand why let me be very frank I also didn't understand it so far. Okay, now bring down 0x square, repeat the process, y square and x cubed, that means I have to multiply by x square and also y square, right? Now let's multiply. So we get x cubed y square minus x square y cubed. Oh, I see. So, so y cubed is missing. So again, the strategy is to you know keep correcting so if you made a mistake you can always correct okay no problem so we move on so we say we have now x square y cube bring down 
that 0x and again we need to multiply by x y cube right so we'll multiply by x y cube and that gives us x square y cube minus x y to the power of 4 now same correction we have to get y to the power of 4 right so we'll introduce y to the power of 4 both places no harm so now we get x y to the power of 4 bring down minus y to the power of 5 and this time uh, we need to multiply by x y to the power of 4 right so so let's do plus y to the power of I mean 4 okay so we get x y to the power of 4 minus y cube and finally denominator is 0 so what did you notice here you notice that we had to introduce these y's also since we are dividing by x minus y uh, what really is happening here that the degree of x and y if you combine remains 5 4 plus 1 3 plus 2 2 plus 3 1 plus 4 or 5 degree of x decreases you see from 5 4 3 2 1 0 degree of y increases from 0 1 2 3 4 5 that is how it is in such cases so what we do really is that we select placeholders in this fashion so that we don't have to do that rework otherwise we just really get stuck and we cannot move forward do you agree with me right so this time let me write down uh, this division uh, in factored form right so let me write this in factored form that is to say I'll write x to the power of 5 minus y to the power of 5 as equal to since the remainder is 0 x minus y is a factor so this is equal to uh, we'll write here x minus y times all that x to the power of 4 plus x cubed y plus x square y square plus x y cube plus y to the power of 4 do you see that so you can actually now factor difference of these two variables with degree 5 but I hope more important in this video was to understand why do we have placeholders like this when the variable is involved like we have in this situation and I hope this answers the question thank you thanks a lot it's always a good learning experience when you come across questions from your students. I'm really grateful to you. Thanks a lot.